think you ain't fought and FIFA are serious about weeding corruption out of the game? Because that's one thing that is really that has come up a lot recently. Um, do you think do you think they actually are serious about it? Because Black are I've called on many occasions borderline retarded. This guy is absolutely hilarious. He's a, he's a no, no, racism just be, be sorted with a handshake. And it's like, the corruption, it's like, how you can not see the corruption going on in front of your eyes with Warner among others. And he didn't get elected last year. It was a coronation. Because no, there was no one against him. No he, just got it, against he just got it given, because Ben Haman got that on corruption charges. Do you think UEFA and FIFA are serious about getting corruption out of the game? Well, they've not shown that they are. So you'd have to say no. But what, but what about the Council of Wisdom that they set up? Yeah. <laughs> Is that how they announced it? <laughs> I've, been, no, I've, been, I've been announcing it. I've been announcing it like that myself, but um, we, we debated uh, on, the, on the pitch all so no, about I, mean, I, I think I think if you're going to look at FIFA and UEFA, generally, I think their leadership is lacking at the moment. So mm. not just in corruption, I think in, like you mentioned, racism as well. I think they've, mm. they've really let themselves down and the game down in that sense. Mm. Um, We're actually going to ask about that. Do you think they're serious about getting racist? But, I, I, but well? I think it's all part of the same kind of. I think you can't divide these 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 um, these things within FIFA and UEFA because they come out with statements that are equally naive or lacking in um, sort of. They're, they're not looking to do anything. To, they're looking to um, just sort of sandbag at the moment. Mm. You know, so. Um, it feels to me that Blatter's got to go. Oh yeah, Blatter out. Um, Hash, hashtag, hash Blatter out on Twitter. Yeah. I think Platini's really let himself down as a, as a leader, and I know that he's obviously got designs on the FIFA job, mm. but he's not done the UEFA job, um, yeah. in my opinion. And he's come out with some more nonsense this last week, and he came out with nonsense during the tournament, and he came out with nonsense before the tournament. Yeah. And sooner or later, you're going to say, how many things does he say and do that are good for the game, and how many does he do that are bad for the game? And they're mm. completely outweighing mm. the good at the moment. The bad is, 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 is more. So, like, Pl Platini has a, a strange sort of agenda when it comes to matters that you think would gain him more popularity. Mm. If he was to turn against racism, I mean, he would become a very popular UEFA president and then mm. FIFA president. Mm. And it's there for everybody to see. Yeah. But he genuinely doesn't believe in, in, in yeah. kicking it out to the extent that someone of his position should. Because mm. so the, yeah, the zero tolerance thing to me just seems like, it's like when I saw the Panorama documentary, it was like, UEFA zero tolerance. Yeah, you could, I could probably wipe my backside for yeah. what that's worth. Well, the proof's in the pudding. I mean, you look at the fines that they dish out for racist behaviour, exactly. or you look, you transpose that with the fines that they put out for uh, Nicholas Bentner showing his pants. Now, yeah. I, I'm not condoning either. And <laughs> I, I don't want to see a racist, and I don't want to see Nicholas Bentner's pants. To be honest. I don't want to see either. But one was fined eighty thousand pounds, and I think mm. the other was fined something like eight thousand yeah. euros, I should say. Mm. And and that is so discouraging for the game. Mm. And everybody looks at that and just thinks, what chance have we got? Mm. You know, where where's the sort of Where's the emphasis in the mm. game at the moment? Because it's clearly not about the real issues that are affecting mm. the game, such as corruption and racism. It's more about the pants. <laughs> it's all about betting his pants. <laughs> I mean, look, I mean, we, we've debated on many a pitch talk show about the um, about Porto being fined sixteen thousand yeah. pounds and for um, their fans racially abusing Balotelli and, Tor and Yaya Torre, and then. Um, Man City got fined twenty four thousand pounds, I think it was, turning for up turning late. up to the pitch late. It's like, well, the, the thing really? is about the thing is about these is that, that, that they are they they are, they are um, condemning that club. They are saying you have been found guilty mm. to board. So it's not like we're saying they might have done something wrong. So we're just going to give them a softer. Set. They're yeah. saying it's it's black and white. It's mm. you are guilty, mm. and then it's only sixteen thousand. Mm. So that that's where I think. I mean, there's no sane sort of football fan in the country anymore that sort of believes in these guys mm. and, right. and, and, and you know, them doing something for the good of the game. So I don't really know. I, it's, it's depressing to think that Blatter will go and Platini will take his place. All we can hope for is that the next chain up, whoever takes mm. the UEFA job, 
has a very different sort of um, way of operating. It's like a revolving door of morons. It's like one borderline retarded guy steps out, turns yeah. a bladder, and then Platini but throws they, him who's yeah. almost competing with him. Well, let's get rid of one the of them first. Let's get rid of one of them first, and you know, let's remain optimistic.